Welcome to the Swift Lane online training. My name is Victoria Wickman, and I'm the customer success manager here at Swift Lane. Today, we're going to discuss the site and access point menu item. This video is part of the admin dashboard series. Let's jump right in. All right, as you can see, we are on the site and access point page. And here you will see where you can actually manage multiple sites, which are considered locations and multiple access points within each site remotely. So let's add a site. I usually typically put the site name as the street address. Select the address and the time zone country. You don't necessarily have to put the phone number if you don't want to, as it is not a required field, and hit save. And the site has been created here. So let's add an access point to the site. So we're going to select the site that I just created. Let's say main door. Main door is description. And then we're going to select a user group. And here you also can select a door color. If you have multiple access points, you want to assign them a different color, you can do so here. For right now, we're just going to leave it as the default color. Hit submit. And then you will see that access point has been created. You can also make these changes within the access point screen. And here is where you're going to start adding your user groups that you created. And this allows face recognition and mobile unlock as well as remote unlock to the user groups that you assign to this particular access point. The next section will be a door unlock schedule. If you have a time frame in which the door needs to stay unlocked, you can set that schedule here. But first, you will need to create the schedule before you insert that as you can select the schedule that you've created for this door unlock schedule. So whatever you had set in that door unlock schedule, this door will remain unlocked during that time period. This is the access schedule. So let's say different user groups need to access the access point on a particular schedule. Again, you need to set those schedules up and then you can assign the schedules accordingly. Here is the section that controls the Swift Reader. So you have touchless unlock. You also have a way that you can lock down the device to only do face recognition. If you don't need this face recognition, then you can also toggle it off by doing so. If you have tenants, you can toggle that on. And this allows you to set up a directory in which a visitor can walk up to the Swift Lane Reader and select that particular tenant. Now, how to set up the tenant directory will be in the visitor's access menu item. If you do not have a front desk intercom option, then toggle that off so that you aren't bothered with setting up a front desk intercom. And if you do not want any user to access the access point via PIN, you can also toggle this off. This low light is usually set up as auto. This is for night purposes. It shines the light so that it can read the person at the door's face. And if it's recognized, then it will unlock. If not, then it will deny access to that person. Now here you will notice the Swift Reader hardware. You'll notice the device as well as kiosk mode on and off. You want to make sure that you toggle this on and this basically locks down the screen for the Swift Lane Access Point app and it doesn't allow anyone to swipe up to access any other apps on the phone. If there is a need for that to be toggled off, it usually will be for troubleshooting purposes. And also, as you notice, this reboot button here will allow you to reboot the device if you're noticing some inconsistencies or a freezing situation. You want to go ahead and reboot that device remotely. 
And that completes the site and access point menu item. Thank you and see you on the next video.